Good afternoon. In this Beta Holly instructional video, I'm going to be showing you how to prepare images into your bezel setting, which we will then put resin on later. For this project, you are going to need some images. I chose a collage sheet that we sell here at Beta Holly. I chose it because one, I love the images, but also all the different images are specifically sized to fit into Patera uh, bezel settings, which takes some of the guesswork and extra labor out of the project. But you can really use whatever image you like. You can use old photographs, you can use um, images from postcards, magazines, anything that you like. So you're going to need a sort an image. You're also going to need a bezel setting. You're going to need a glue. I chose none design glue for its ease of use. You're also going to need a sealant, which is going to protect your images once you put the resin on top. You're going to need a pair of scissors, or if you have an appropriately sized hole punch, you can also hole punch your image. You're going to need a paintbrush, and you're going to need a pair of tweezers. So to begin, choose your image. I chose this little gal right here. And you're just going to cut her out. As you can see, I've already cut some images out. With this particular collage sheet, I got quite a few images. Just cut along the lines. If you're not using a collage sheet, which is pre-sized for your bezel setting, it's pretty easy. You can just go ahead, flip your bezel upside down, trace along the edges, and then cut just a little bit to the interior of where you traced, and that should fit your bezel just fine. I always say cut a little bit larger than what you think you're going to need because you can always trim it down as you go. So you would just, if this was too large, you know, you just can kind of look at the other side, just keep trimming it down. But this one actually fits just perfectly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my glue and I just have a little bit of paper I'm working on right here for my work surface. Just pour a little bit of glue out. I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm going to hold my image very steady on my paper. And I'm just going to paint on the glue. I don't want to move my image because if I move my image, it's going to run into those glue tracks and I don't want that to happen. But I do want to cover every bit of my image, particularly the edges and the corners. And then take my tweezer, lift it up and then place it into my setting. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along the edges and just smooth it out. Get any air bubbles out of there. Also make sure that the glue is evenly spread. And I'm just going to go in there with my finger, make sure it's tightly down. And that is the first step. And now I'm going to let that dry. Now that my image has fully dried, give it about 20 minutes to 30 minutes. It's better to err on the side of caution because if you put your sealant on and your glue is still wet and if any had seeped through the edges, it would end up as a white cloud that would be sealed in there. So I'm taking my paintbrush and it's actually the same paintbrush I used before. I just rinsed it out with some water. And now I'm going to take my sealant. I'm going to pour a little bit of it out. If you don't want to pour it on paper, you can always use a Tupperware lid or a yogurt cup lid. Sometimes that works really well as a little paint tray. Okay. I don't want to flood this image with sealant, but I do want to make sure that I cover every bit of it. And in particular, I want to make sure I get into the corners because the corners are notorious for giving you troubles with the resin. Once you put the resin on, if you don't seal those corners, it's going to seep under and into your paper and it's going to have a little bit of like a dark shadow to it. Now, if you do get a number of streaks as you're painting your sealant on, just do like a crosshatch type motion. You'll find what works best for you. A softer paintbrush usually works a little bit better than a coarser paintbrush. And now I'm just going to set that to dry before I put my resin on it. 
If you want, you can go back and you can put a second coat of sealant if you feel like you might have some areas that you missed or if you feel like you might have some of the resin that's gonna seep under there. There's no harm in putting a second coat. And after that dries, which I would let it dry for a good hour or more, we'll go ahead and put our resin on.